He's been evaluated medically. There's no medical problems for him. And with that, we're now getting a first look at the events that unfolded earlier this month when a man died while being transported by police officers from a hospital to a behavioral health center. This is Queen 6 News at 10. I'm Elizabeth Din. Our Jamie Seymour has been digging deeper into this case. She's live in studio with us now to tell us much more. Jamie? Liz, a few weeks ago, 26-year-old Jean DeCamp was being taken by police to Unity when the Providence Milwaukee Hospital staff said he was medically cleared and couldn't stay. But upon arrival to Unity, he was unresponsive and died despite CPR efforts. Now Milwaukee police are releasing the body-worn camera footage of that night and a warning this may be difficult for some to watch. A night that quickly took a turn for the worst. Officers were called to Providence Milwaukee Hospital on December 13th for a man who hospital staff say refused to leave the ER after he received care. He was pleasant. He was um, conversant the entire time until right when uh, his discharge arrived. Almost hey, Jean. Mm. Hey, Jean, can you hear me? As officers enter the room, 26-year-old Jean DeCamp is groaning and not responding to officers' questions, despite hospital staff saying there were no medical problems and he was cleared to be released. He's not thriving chronically, but um, there's no medical reason for him to be here anymore. Um, and it's all behavioral. Yeah, 100% behavioral. Despite warrants out for his arrest, the jail wouldn't take him in his condition, and you can hear the officers weigh whether to take him to a homeless shelter. So here's the deal. You can either uh, go to the homeless shelter, all right, or you can go outside and be cold, but you can't stay here, okay? DeCamp never responds beyond groans, and police eventually cuff him. Let's sit you right here in this wheelchair. Get him into a wheelchair to take him to the police cruiser where they decide to take him to a behavioral health center. Okay, Gene, I want you to sit up the best you can, okay? But when the officer goes back in to get to camp's discharge papers, neither the hospital staff nor police can decide who's responsible for him. Staff saying he came there voluntarily and that he wouldn't take a cab they ordered for him. Didn't want to leave. You want to stay here all night. And so that's how that went for him. It's not really a medical problem. It's malingering. It's not really a police yeah. problem. Yeah, it's not a police problem either. No, it's, uh, it's not. It's a community problem. Officers head to Unity Behavioral Health. But shortly after they arrive and talk to him, they realize he's unresponsive. Hey, Gene. Hey, Gene. Within seconds, officers pull to camp from the cruiser and remove his cuffs and start CPR. But despite efforts, he was pronounced dead after 11.30 p.m. So the supervisor's like, take him back in the hospital. And they refused him. So they were like, you're going to just drop him off at a bus stop, let him freeze tonight. I mean, he's not verbal. He's not talking. He's got in involuntary, involuntary drool. And they're like, nope, there's nothing wrong with him. That officer then explains to EMS responders why they eventually resorted to the behavioral health transport. You know, so we brought him here. Yeah, you guys did everything right. This evening, Providence released a statement saying in part, in this case, we fell short of our goal of providing safe, reliable, compassionate care to our patient. The Milwaukee police video is difficult to watch and Providence is committed to doing all we can to learn from this and improve our response to our most vulnerable patients. They wanted to say, they went on to say that they are doing an internal review involving the organization that provides their ER doctors as well as the Oregon Health Authority and that Providence leaders have already taken action, ending with, quote, we will do better. We will continue to follow up on this. Yeah, I know you will. There is so much to this. I know one of the big questions that it raises is what went wrong? So I know yes. many people will be looking into this. Jamie, thanks for that report.